Well, it's kind of a funny story. I was working security at the McDonald, and one of the guys on the radio calls me up because Adam apparently was at the bar door, and he says, hey, I need you at the bar door. So I get over to the bar door, and it's like, what's going on? What, what do you need? And um, there's Adam, and he's like, hey, these guys are looking for a drummer. So started up with them about a year and a half ago. I call this group therapy. <laughs> you know, it's like some people go to meetings and they show up. Oh, I'm an alcoholic and I show up. I'm a guitar player, you know, every week I get to get out the stress from the week. You know, it, it, it's like family with these guys. It's awesome. Um, we all get along really well and I'll have a lot of good ideas, a lot of great input. Um, we've finally gotten into writing all songs to, or writing songs together and collaborating on a lot of stuff and just coming up with ideas. I think we just like to keep escalating our, our quality of gigs and do more festivals, get more exposure, um, more media, just take it that next step. New new album, um, very excited about that. Um, it's, it's like nothing I could have comprehended. Our first album took a very long time uh, due to the fact that we did it in house. Um, took almost two years. I think a lot of it's probably the chemistry and uh, the fact that we have fun on stage. I mean, the, the acumen's there. I mean, we've got some incredibly talented players, and I'd like to think I've grown a little bit, but uh, yeah, the crowd can tell when you're having fun. You know? A jam man without the jam. Uh, nice. I don't know what else you'd call it. I don't know. It's eclectic. We can only get better from this point on.